Hi, House of Members! I am Lacey Sugar Kirkabold, and I am your 2013-2014 Minnesota Horses State Historian. And I'm here today to talk to you about medical terminology. Um, the purpose of this event is to encourage health science students to improve their ability, ability to identify, spell, define, and apply prefixes, suffixes, roots, and anatomy, physiology, pathophysiology, physiology and occupations related to the healthcare field and community. Um, so this is a written test that will involve recognizing, identifying, defining, interpreting, and applying selected terms that deal with health science education. Though the dress code for this event will be official HOSA uniform or proper business attire. A description of the, this dress code can be found in your event guidelines as well as on at hosted.org or if maybe you can ask your um, local chapter advisor for to see what is appropriate to wear to this event. Um, this test will be bro broken down into um, different sections, not necessarily sections, but there will be different parts of the test. So 5% of the test will be the urinary system, and then the rest, other 5% portions will be indiscriminatory, repro reproductive, endocrine, nervous, nervous system, cardiovascular, and lymphatic, digestive, respiratory, muscle, skeletal, and an overview of the body. And then 45% of the test will be roots, prefixes, suffixes, and combining forms. So obviously to be an event, you must be an active person member, and you must adhere to the general rules and conditions that are let handed down to us by National HOSA. Um, remember with this event that since it's a written test, you must bring the number two pencils to the test because it will be a scantron that you will be writing on. Um, bring spare number two pencil if you can because sometimes it's break and um, you just don't want to deal with that on test day because a pencil will not be provided for you. Also remember to be prompt and on time to your events, even try to be early if you can because as well as members, we want to show ourselves to the best of our ability. Um, don't forget to bring your event guidelines um, at your local midwinters. This may not be a huge deal, but at state and national events, you must bring your event guidelines, otherwise you might not even get into the door. It is required, so make sure you just get into the habit of that no matter what you go to to practice. Make sure you have your events so you can always reference them if you even have a question and you're not left hanging. I wish everyone the best of luck in this event. Thanks, have a great day.